pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Roll call, please. Davis? Here. Parker? Here. Duke Stapsmith? Weaver? Here. Wilson? Here. Duke is here. Here. Duke <coughs> Here. Make a motion to excuse the absence of Scott. Support. Parker? Yes. Duke's absent. Weaver? Yes. Wilson? Yes. Duke is here. Yes. Duke is W? Yes. Davis? Yes. All right. Um, non agenda items from sidelines. We have members from the Knights of Columbus here that would like to uh, request permission to hold a second MI drive this October 10th and 11th from 8 a.m. to 6 p.m. in the main intersection of town. Um, basically, this is uh, to uh, support the mentally impaired. Yeah. And you sell Tootsie Rolls, I believe? Yeah. Is there a, I love Tootsie Rolls. So, uh, can I get a motion to allow the. I'll uh, make that motion. I'll Thank you. Appreciate it. We haven't voted yet. <laughs> Duke's absent. Weaver? Yes. Wilson? Yes. Zukasar? Yes. Zukas W? Yes. Davis? Yes. Parker? Yes. All right, you're present. That sounds All right. Comments from city administration? You got anything done? Yeah, make sure to Thank you, Dick. Thank you, Brian. Chief? This is the uh, new vehicle. It should be ready uh, Wednesday. Okay, that's, that's the plan. There were some uh, improper parts that were put on the old vehicle, which had to get ordered. Uh, New vehicle, so uh, the overheads don't come off the car. Okay. Um, and um, currently going through the uh, motor carrier training, which uh, may uh, require some uh, local ordinance changes, which I'm working on right now. Okay. Okay. Yes. All right. Fantastic. Dave. Um, planning a trip for Frankie Booth, what? January 20th, 21st or 22nd, for a. Um, Dueling piano luncheon. What? Uh, oh, they are so much fun. Yeah, well, the only snake that I'm having so far is, is funny the bus. I've what's called two it? bus companies. Uh, what's it for? Frankenmuth. For dueling pianos uh, luncheon. So it's going to be about uh, 2 o'clock in the afternoon, either January 21st or 22nd. And I'm working on that. Um, what else are we doing? That's it. All right. Far. Fantastic. All right. Moving on. Adoption of the agenda. Okay. We got some changes. Um, we'll eliminate now the communications in the uh, H1. Just eliminate that because we've already addressed that issue. Under new business number six, we got the police department commercial vehicle enforcement training. Number seven, police de uh, police department auto invoice. Is that invoice? Or that? Yeah. Was right, but, yeah. Okay. Number eight, fire department transfer of one thousand sixty-five dollars and ninety-five cents for the fire department equipment replacement fund. No further changes. And make a motion to adopt the agenda as amended. Support. Weaver. Yes. Wilson. Yes. Zukasar. Yes. Zukas W. Yes. Davis. Yes. Parker. <coughs> yes. Stoops absent. All right. Hopefully you've all had a chance to go over the regular meeting minutes of September 2nd, 2014. If there's no changes, I'd entertain a motion to accept those. I'll make a motion to accept the minutes as presented. Support. Wilson? Yes. Zucas R? Yes. Zucas W? Yes. Davis? Yes. Parker? Yes. Stoops absent. Weaver? Yes. All right. Next is Stuart, Duve, and Whipple. Mr. Paul Bailey's here to uh, present us with our 2013-2014 fiscal year audit. You have the full call. Oh, thank you. Pleasure to be here tonight. I put in each one of your places a copy of your annual financial audit. Um, as you know, you contracted our firm to come out and perform an audit of your accounting or your finances each and every year. Uh, we come out and spend about a week on uh, my team. I'll just briefly go through it, stop me along the way if you have any questions or if I can answer them at the end. If you turn and just pass the table of contents in that a binder that you received, it says independent auditor's report on the top. This is really the only portion of the report that belongs to Stuart, Corbett, and Whipple, uh, and it's where we give an opinion on whether your financial statements are presented in accordance with uh, general accepted accounting principles. You have what they call an unqualified or clean opinion. Uh, that's what you're looking for. 
After you approve it tonight, we ship it over to the Michigan Department of Treasury, uh, and, and they will go through it. They look at the look at the opinion and, and so forth. But they're looking for that unqualified opinion in this proceeding. Starting on page three for the few next pages, there's something called the management discussions and analysis. It just kind of gives the reader a very overview of the city and some of the finances. We're not going to spend any time tonight on it. Um, we will spend it on a little bit more detail, but it is required in order to get that unqualified opinion. On page um, eight, there's basically two sets of financial statements in your audit report. Um, page eight, nine, and ten is what they is a commercial way of looking at the city of Memphis. Um, and it, what that does is it includes all the value of the buildings, the water and sewer systems, everything. Um, and if you look at the bottom right hand corner of page eight, if you were a, a corporation, you'd have equity or uh, about $4.2 million. Again, a lot of that's tied up in building and equipment and so forth. Um, but it is required to have both sets of financial statements. We're going to spend our time tonight in the traditional way governments have always reported. If we look at page 11, this is your balance sheet for your what they call your governmental funds, and what the first column is your general fund where most of the activity takes place. You can see your cash, uh, 114,000 invest investments of 509, some receivables, total assets in your general fund as of June 30, 2014, 699,663. It then lists liabilities, accounts payable, some accrued uh, liabilities such as wages and things like that, uh, total liabilities of 31,780 which left a fund balance as of the end of the year of uh, 667,883. There's three classifications of fund balance. There's a portion of your fund balance that's restricted, that's a salvage money um, that carries over and you use it up and uh, replenish it of 12,928. Uh, assigned fund balance for the 2014 and 15 budget, when you approved your 14, 15 budget, you anticipated you were gonna use up about $21,000 of your, your revenues were going to be short by 21000 so you pull that out. And that left what they call the unassigned fund balance of 633948 You can see the major street right next to it. Uh, the fund balance in your major street fund was 278510 uh, Your fund balance in your local street, 122380 And then your other governmental funds, which is basically your equipment funds, and there's a breakdown in the back. All the equipment funds had a, a fund balance of $106,053. If we turn over to page 13, this is your operating statement. Um, the first column again is your general fund. You can see your tax revenue of the 336,000 was down to licenses and permits. So our total revenues for the year, $871,999. It then lists your expenditures. Uh, your expenditures for the year were 950,000. And then it lists other things such as other financing sources such as sale of capital assets. Again, if you go just past that, there's a column that, or a line that says net change in fund balance of a negative 13,920. That's your bottom line for the year. For the year ended uh, June 30, 2014, your general fund spent 13,920 more than it took in, but pretty close to a break even a year um, there. You can see your major street fund right next to it. Um, you had revenues of 65,000 in your major street, you spent 63,000. Uh, your local street, you have brought in 27,000, uh, and you spent 32,000 in your local street fund. You transferred in also 38,000 in your local street fund there. And that left the fund balances at the end of the year just going into the current year. Um, if you look at page um, 15 and 16, this is your water and sewer fund. Um, you can see the cash um, there, what, it's $206,000. It then gets into a lot of other things. Your restricted money is just some debt money, the debt uh, money that was on the tax bill that's left over. Uh, but the net position at the bottom, the unrestricted column, that's what you'd have available would be 232821 to do any projects in the water and sewer fund. On page 16 is the operating statement uh, for the water and sewer fund. Um, you see water charges, sewer disposal charges, total revenue for the year. 237,000. You had operating expenses of uh, 303, uh, which left an operating loss of 65,000, but that includes depreciation. If you had that back, you would have been negative by about 20,000. And the reason for that is um, one of your employees got dusted for vacation and sick pay. You didn't have to pay it out. 
but we had to record it of about twenty thousand dollars. Without that, it would have been a totally a break even um, year. And you don't have to pay it out this year, but in the future you'll have to pay it out um, at some future date. That's the number section. Um, any questions on the numbers? I know I went through it very quickly. I spend a lot more time if you'd like. <laughs> but, uh, with it. I, we, when we're all done, uh, I'll just so you know the process. You know, we come out and we do your audit. We go back to our office for two or three weeks, and then we, we draft the report. Then we come down and sit down with your administrator, plus uh, the mayor and Mr. Wilson. We sit down with and go through it in a lot of detail. We spend a couple hours going through it in a lot of detail. There's a couple letters that's connected to it. The first letter that you have there should be in the back, just stuck in the back of the report. They, are, they should be loose. The first one says independent auditor's report on internal control. They're mm -hmm. stuck right in the very back. This is a letter. Uh, one of the things we do when we do your audit is we uh, take a look at the processes that transactions have to go through to get um, through the accounting uh, system. You know, is there a duplicate set of eyes that look at most everything? And if we become aware of what we call material weaknesses, we're required to report it to the board. There's only one area here, and it's a kind of a technicality. Back when all the problems would happen with Enron and everything, they started this deal where everybody should have a, somebody on staff that can draft their own financial statements. Well, that's what you hire us for. Uh, smaller entities hire us. About 95% of our clients um, hire us to do that. So uh, Larry, Larry doesn't count for this. <laughs> he should. <laughs> he, should. <laughs> he goes through them very close. Um, I, I went my thorough answers too. <laughs> it's just a technicality. You weigh the cost benefit. It wouldn't be cost justified, so I wouldn't worry about it. Other than that, we didn't have any significant difficulties with uh, or weaknesses in your system. The second letter that's connected there, just an audit communication letter, just explain whether we had any difficulties during your audit. Um, we didn't have any difficulties. Uh, your staff is very cooperative with us. Um, when we come out to do it, uh, we enjoy working with them um, there and it just goes through that process. There is on the very back page a couple things that we usually recommend. They're not what we call significant weaknesses, but areas we'd like you to consider. Um, the first one just had to do with the police department, um, uh, having pre number of receipts over there. Um, since we brought that up, the money is now being collected here, so that really is um, a mute point now. Everything's coming through the central office, my understanding. Yeah. Capital assets should be reviewed. We're, we're just suggesting you have a list of all your assets in that periodically, but once or every couple of years, you take an inventory and, and just make sure they're, they're still there and update the list. And then um, there was just a couple of electronic fund transfers, EFTs, that we test to make sure they are on the list that come to the board. There was no problem with or anything that we couldn't find on the list. And, We've worked with um, uh, Don to make sure that in the future that they'll be on the on the list for for That's a very quick quick synopsis of about a forty page report. Um, I think overall the report is pretty good. Yes. Yeah. 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 You're yeah. in good financial condition. Yeah. Um, and uh, I think uh, we have no long term debt anymore. Yeah. No, you're one of the few municipalities we have that have no long term debt. Yeah. Um, that's very unusual. Hopefully, we can make it last a while. We'll see. We better borrow. Then we still there. All right. Anybody have any questions? Um, I just did we break even or? Did... You were thirteen thousand revenue expenses over revenue for your um, general. Okay, that's what that one. But we had estimated twenty one. Yes, you had es estimated quite a bit more than that. Twenty seven. Twenty seven. So we, I mean, we we only were as uh, half as bad as we thought it would be. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> <clears throat> that wasn't put in last year, like we put it in for this year for next year. Well, that, yeah, that's what we did. We we said, okay, we're going to be twenty one thousand that we're going to be pulling out of our general, or twenty seven thousand we'll pull out of our general fund. We only ended up with thirteen yeah. coming from there. Gotcha. Okay. So, we're, yeah, we were better than we had planned on being, so which is good. So we were kind of under what we budgeted, but over in uh, over expenditures over revenue. Any other questions? And you still have a very healthy fund balance. Yeah, it's, uh, yeah, it's, it's not material really in our when you When you consider what our annual budget is, our fund balance is very healthy. Yeah. Any other questions? Thank you very much. Thank you. It's a pleasure to work with you. Yep, and we'll see you whenever, whenever we need. <laughs> so, uh, can I get a motion to approve the uh, budget? I'll make a motion under the, uh, the audit. Now, right? 
Sukasar? Yes. Sukas W? Yes. Davis? Yes. Parker? Yes. Stoops absent. Weaver? Yes. Wilson? Yes. All right, thank you, Paul. Thank you. All right, moving on communications. There was none unfinished business. There was none new business. Uh, set burn dates for October 12, 2014 to November 23rd, 2014. Um, I thought uh, Barton was a change. Well, um, that's just for... Um, a one time, one -time burn for him. Oh, one -time gonna, burn? Yeah, oh, that's okay. not for the entire city. No. He's okay. gonna he's gonna do the last burn on the burn pile and um, we're gonna be done with it. Okay. All so right. um, can I get a motion to approve October twelfth to November twenty third? Yeah, I'll make that motion. October twelfth to November twenty third. Support. So can stop you? Yes. Davis? Yes. Parker? Yes. Stoops absent Weaver? Yes. Wilson? Yes. Super yes. Next is approval of the renewal of the uh, CDs, uh, CSB and Comerica Bank. I think we've already done CSB, haven't we? We didn't put it. Okay. I know we didn't put the council book. We've already renewed the one, okay. um, but we have to do, we need to approve the renewal of both these certificates of deposit. So it's going to get a motion where we renew our certificates of deposit and our I'll, I'll make a motion we approve both uh, CDs. Support. Davis? Yes. Parker? Yes. Stoops absent. Weaver? Yes. Wilson? Yes. Sukas R? Yes. Sukas W? Yes. All right, next is Police Department invoice from Canfield Equipment. This is for, uh, if you haven't seen it, the push bar on the front of the uh, black charger. It actually looks quite Good. Yes, we're able to save uh, roughly $160 by using Canfield uh, rather than the alternate. Okay. I was just wondering what you need push bar for. Well, the push bar for uh, initially will protect the front of the vehicle. So if the vehicle is involved in a uh, an accident, it may minimize the amount of uh, total damage. Um, also, for purposes of uh, any, anyone stuck in the roadway, it can be pushed to safety. Um, so it's a public service. It yes, yeah, it's that rubber it's rubber, rubber, front. rubber oh. pushers on it. Most police cars have them. Ours just did not. Uh, neither one of them had them. Um, and and this is something he can definitely uh, help vehicles, help other vehicles. I actually, could probably help the lawn mower the other day. <laughs> yes, yes, actually, it would. Yeah. <laughs> Are we going to have one too? Yes. Uh, That's fine. So we just need a, a motion to approve this. I'll make that motion. Support it. Parker. Yes. Stoops absent. Weaver. Yes. Wilson. Yes. Lucas R. Yes. Lucas W. Yes. Davis. Yes. Next is an invoice for three hundred and two dollars from On Duty Gear LLC. And this was last year's that has to go into this year. This is last year's that has to go into this year. Okay. And this is for uniforms. Yes, I believe that was back from uh, May or June. Okay, so this is one of the older invoices that yes. has come up. So can I get a motion to approve that since it's already been paid, I mean, ordered and... Make a motion to pay 302.96 to Angier, Angier, Angier. I support that. Stoops, Absent, Weaver? Yes. Wilson? Yes. Zucasar? Yes. Zucas W? Yes. Davis? Yes. Parker? Yes. Next is Fire Department uh, for a medical EMT class for, looks like, Firefighter Ed Henry. Uh, we just, it's $1,500. Um, we just need to approve that we send them to EMT class. Is, I'm sure there's enough in there. It's right? budgeted, yes. Okay. It's, it's, so can I get a motion for, to approve that? Weaver? Yes. Wilson? Yes. Sukasar? Yes. Sukas W? Yes. Davis? Yes. Parker? Yes. Stoops Ampson. All right. Next we have police commercial vehicle training. I believe most of us were called on this and we've already approved it, but we need a formal vote. To approve that chief go to commercial vehicle training, which he's already attending. <laughs> so, can I get a motion to approve the chief go yesterday? I'll make a motion to uh, approve the chief to go to uh, commercial vehicle enforcement training. 
support. Wilson? Yes. Sukas Herb? Yes. Sukas W? Yes. Davis? Yes. Herker? Yes. Stoops Ampson Weaver? Yes. Next, we have an invoice from uh, B and D Auto for five hundred ninety-seven dollars and sixty-six cents. This looks like for brakes, rotors, um, for the front uh, and rear of oh, uh, the uh, black charger. Correct. Okay. <coughs> so. Do we have two chargers right now? A twelve and a thirteen. We've got one on the way that's fourteen. Right? Yes, I believe we have twelve, and the new one coming is going to be fourteen. Okay, because this is No, we had a 13 and 14. 13, 13, the new 13. one is coming, there's 14. Oh, well, I'm we, just asking because the bill we just pay, approved for Canfield is a 2 I know that they had the wrong uh, and this one is a 13, date right? on there. The wrong year? The wrong year on there, yeah. Is it a 13? It's a 12. It's a 12. It's a 13. It's a 13? It's a 13. On the Canfield one, it says 12. 12. Oh, what is it? Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. All right. I, well, I, I first said too when I first went to look at it. Like, Wait a minute, what, what car is that? We don't have a problem. <laughs> <laughs> so I need a motion to approve the five hundred ninety-seven dollars sixty-six cents B and D. How many dead more? Support. Sukas R. Yes. Sukas W. Yes. Davis. Yes. Parker. Yes. Stoops Anson Weaver. Yes. Wilson. Yes. The next uh, is fire department transfer. There's uh, funds of $1,065.95 that we need to transfer from the general fund to the fire department equipment replacement fund for a uh, special invoice that was paid to the fire department and um, approved according to the fire department by West Township. So can I get that motion? What do you want to do? Take it. Take it from the general fund where we deposit it to and put it into the equipment replacement fund for the fire department. We received the check and we put it in the general fund and we transfer that. Okay. I'll make that one. Support. Sukas so W? Yes. Davis? Yes. Parker? Yes. Stoops Absent Weaver? Yes. Wilson? Yes. Sukas so R? Yes. Other new business from the mayor? Um, during the planning commission meeting, we discussed uh, downtown and parking situations, and um, several members had suggested we look into purchasing possibly uh, Carrie McCready's place and uh, tearing down that old uh, meat plant, or now it's a, a machine shop behind Main Street, West Main Street, and making public parking back there. Uh, several of the business owners I've talked to them, and they would be willing to also get involved in uh, sharing expense and, to make that happen because it would make our downtown much more successful. Um, basically, I guess I, I don't want to do anything without this body thinking yes or no on, on that issue. If you think we should look into it, I know at one time he was asking a significant amount for that building that's dropped several times, um, but it includes all the way from Boardman to Potter Street, uh, probably about 40 foot wide behind the alley, all that land. And it would make all our downtown buildings have a significant amount of parking, which they currently don't have, should we be able to purchase it. And I talked to Luke Grace, he would be willing to help too, whether financially or, or you know, uh, if we buy it, maybe all the business owners pave it or something like that. So uh, how do you feel about it, Larry? I guess I would have no objection to looking at it. I certainly want to know what, uh, the financial figures and the cost. The building itself is of no benefit to the city of it at all. I don't think it's a benefit to I don't, anyone. I, I don't know for sure. <clears throat> and I assume uh, the cost is, uh, a, a major portion of the cost is relative to the building, I would assume, Possibly. in selling it. So I, I guess I, I look at it this way, I, I, I wouldn't, I'd be, in, I'm okay with looking at it, but I, I certainly have reservations. I don't, I don't want to see all the financial figures and all that. And if we could possibly get some economic uh, development money from yep. either rural development or some other yeah. entity to help make it happen, I think it would be a good investment uh, for the city to make in our downtown. Yeah, I, I realize it, it, it would increase the parking back there. We do have parking on this side. I think you mentioned that earlier, but right. we don't have much, very little parking back over there. And I noticed. There's, there's vacant land where they could park, however, it's, it's, all bar marked it's barricaded where they can't do it. Right. And I assume that's done 
for a reason. So, uh, well, liability. I'm sure he doesn't yeah, want insurance liabilities. Yeah, yeah. There's I'm sure he doesn't want people on his land because yeah, of liability. Yeah. So there's different reasons why he's done that. But I believe all the businesses would would benefit greatly, and our downtown would benefit yeah. greatly from us uh, investing in that. Well, and, and I mean, you you work with some of the business owners over there on that side as well, right? Yeah. So I'm sure that they could benefit from having some, especially Rich Press, because on auctions, all the all the elderly people can't fit where you can park. Right. And even when he's maneuvering his trailers, it's kind of tight back there. So. Well. So um, that that you just would look at the numbers, but I look at the numbers. I won't make any commitment one way or the other. I, I agree. Yeah. yeah. If it's never going to be anything. Else. I don't know if it is or not, but if someone else buys it, they're going to have the same restrictive attitude of keeping people off their property. Does Bob's the kitchen own that corner? Yes, they do. And they have plans. They've been working with uh, uh, St. Clair County Economic Development and the state to try to get a grant to improve their building in that corner, and I've been working with them on that. So um, hopefully that corner will be paved and dressed up, and uh, they had talked about um, uh, uh, open dining on the south side of that building as well and some some grassy areas so it would make major improvement of that corner but you know the, the downtown, see something in the there, I mean, yeah anyway. the downtown would uh, I mean we have to invest in our businesses we have to uh, invest in our downtown that's what's going to make us successful and I believe that that would that would be a big step forward are so, we making any progress on the alley back here no. no parking back here no I mean, and, and back that's here. the other thing you notice that uh this parking lot back behind the businesses on the east side it stays busy it stays full uh with no parking on the other side you see a lot of people parking on the east side and walking across to the businesses on the west side of the road so um you know just the simple fact that there is no alley parking on that side uh, causes some trouble even um even uh, uh luke grace told me that people park over in his parking lot and try to walk across to the businesses. Yeah, and I, I assume they use that parking lot in the library too. But, uh, and, and I think we could work. We could work some type of partnership with the businesses that all own along there. Maybe some type of special assessment or um, something per front foot, because everyone is going to benefit. And if we accept part of the uh, expense and they accept part of the expense, I think I think it's a win-win for everyone. So. Has there been any problem with um, the gentleman we give the parking rights to in front of his business? Has there been any feedback? No one's complained to me. No, no problem? No, not as far as I know. Oh, I'm going to be on Main Street. Yeah, on Main Street. Yeah, on Main Street. So that, that's all I have. Uh, okay. Anybody else have a comment on that or a feeling? I'm Frank? just wondering if we're ever going to do anything with this alley out here. Uh, I don't well, know. That's part that, of it. We need a we need a comprehensive downtown yeah. plan to to reinvest in our downtown, and um, you know the parking is is part of it. I, Bart's not here, but I had asked him about some extra gravel. I mean, winter's coming. It, it's worse in the winter than it is right. in the in the in the summer because of the fact that in the winter there gets puddles of ice and it becomes a little more dangerous. But we don't own it. We, the yeah, majority, we, don't, I mean, we, we don't own the majority yeah. of this alley. We own a small small portion of this side. Um, so the business owners, I mean, Smitty owns quite a bit of it. He said he'd give it to the city if we'd do something with it. See, there's another problem there is drainage. And it, it, for you could, uh, to pave it or I mean blacktop or whatever, we have to resolve the drainage issue. So I think yeah. uh, that has to be drained to the far side. So and then we'd we, have did, to we just couldn't blacktop it. In other words, we got to look at the drainage. And get that done as well. So it's not a simple process. It's but we do process. we do need to take a good hard look at our downtown and mm -hmm. see how we can uh, maybe invest some money in it, um, try to get some money for it, and help all the business owners out on both sides of the road. But uh, you know they're they're they have parking over here. It's not good parking, but they have hardly any parking on the other <coughs> side. <Right. coughs> So, I mean, that might be the first step. Look, let's get that land, let's allow parking, and now let's see what, would, what it would take to improve all of it. You look at downtown uh, Elmont, and even though the downtown buildings are empty, they've managed to get rural development funds to pave parking behind all those buildings. You know, so the rural development money is available. We've just got to, I mean, if, even if we have to hire somebody to look into a grant for rural development, I've been trying to, or, or 
previous chief was supposed to look into it. I've asked uh, right now, Eric Schneider is, is looking into it and trying to figure out how do we get on the list, how do we get approved. There's 16 steps you have to jump through before you can even apply for a grant. You have to be approved to be able to apply. <laughs> so we, we haven't even gotten through the pre-approval process because of all those steps, all those hoops that you have to jump through. So we need to we need to kind of bite the bullet and say, look, let's get approved to apply for grants. Then anytime our police department needs a new police car, we can, they said, you know, any rural community can get a portion of police cars of, of other things paid for. You know, they uh, you look at their list of grants, and a lot of them are for police cars. So they'll give eight to ten thousand dollars for the police car. You know, that's half of the cost. So well, half of the car cost, and then we have to put the stuff in it, but. Still, that would that would help. You know, anytime we don't have to spend ten thousand dollars, is a good, you know, good chunk of change out of our pocket. And the fact that we could, we could improve our parking down here with some of that money. So I mean, we've got to do something. Whether it's hiring somebody to get us on the list, get hiring somebody to get us uh, able to um, get grants from rural development. Or are we looking just? Hire somebody. Well, we had somebody here come here at one time. I had had her bring somebody before us, and they were per hour, I believe, not per grant, and and we couldn't really get we couldn't define the cost. Yeah, we couldn't define the cost. I mean, if if we would say not to exceed, and we could figure out a not to exceed, maybe get some quotes in of okay, what t what would it take you to get us on this, or, or yeah. you know, and throw a little money at it. And the other thing is grants. Well, didn't we have uh, somebody that wrote pretty good grants when you in get, here? Yes, and uh, she's back on our payroll. When you get, and also grants, just because you write one, you don't mean you get it. You might write 10 grants for you get one. Right. You know, so there's no guarantee. And they're grants. usually matching funds. Yeah. So in order to get them uh, yeah. to improve your downtown, we may have to spend 20 to 30 percent, but it would be worth it. Uh, you know, I mean, we're doing pretty good, and and, and Right now, the economy is starting to pick up, and now's the time that we have to invest and let people know the city's willing to help you out and get them, get them successful in this town. So that's all I have. What do you have any? No, I have nothing. Robbie? No. What's going on with that property? Which property? The one that we're supposed to sell back to. Nothing. Still, nothing's still on it, right? Yep. Yeah, still on it. We can go picnic over there tomorrow if you want. Right, we, we, okay. uh, we sent registered letters, and, but no response. So. They had a party there the other day, it looked like, when I drove by. There's a bunch of cars around. Maybe, maybe they'll get it through osmosis. Or and maybe. You know, I mean, I, I kind of think now, now seeing it, <coughs> seeing our nature trail, I kind of think we should keep it. If we can make something like a if we can get a way to get across to it, yeah. I mean, it's it's absolutely amazing uh, right across from one of our fishing holes. And it, uh, uh, you know, the only problem is if we keep it as landlocked, we'd have to go across the gentleman's property to mow it. And uh, he, I'm sure he'd be angry at us for keeping it. So, I don't know. Nothing's going on with it. Your answer is float across. Float across. You can walk across it when it's not rushing like it has been but uh so no problem cut the grass. no problem cut the grass. anything else <clears throat> frank <clears throat> bill yeah when are they going to start on this uh front door up here well we're still we are still sending them uh paperwork they requested <coughs> more paperwork we sent them last week we haven't heard from them so yeah we uh, sent we they, sent paperwork Three times now. Yeah, they say yeah. dance and dance. Yeah. You send the dance, and then they send yeah. back, hey, we'd like to see a few more steps. Yeah, so it's. So we're still we sent them three times already? Yeah. yeah. Get still somebody still. else. Pardon? Get somebody else. No, no it's no, the no, grant it's money grant we're money. trying to get. No, no, it's grant money. So, no, so that's, what, yeah, that's what. Yeah. <laughs> well, I'd love to get somebody else to give us money. <laughs> no, it's, <laughs> it's, it's grants, and, and that's why we're. We, we the, they've never done this before, so they want to make sure that they set it up right and make it. Uh, but but your it's work in progress. It's a work in progress. Yeah, slowly. Yeah, and hopefully they won't ask for more changes if they do. They do. Yeah. Anything else? Not, not <coughs> off hand. Motion to adjourn. Thank you.